Right, Lee, uh, we've just watched uh, the screening of Do You Want to Win, a fantastic, fantastic film. What gave you the inspiration behind it? Uh, there was a there was an instigation which was it was the 25th anniversary but the inspiration was more um, how do we do this story justice you know how do we tell the uh, do justice to to what Howard and, and Bill and everybody did in that period it was like a, a, a it's been lost a little bit to history um, perhaps those three years of you know if someone did promotion fourth champions now be be one of the biggest stories in football so um, we wanted to do justice to that team and tell tell the story as best we could yeah. Was it, was it difficult? I mean, how hard was it getting the, getting the film together, together to what we see now? Um, it was it, because because we love the story and because we're Leeds fans. The biggest challenge was how to take it down to an hour and a half. <laughs> you know, we, for us, this could be a ten-hour film, and we'd leave everything in. But the big challenge was how do we um, get get you know what what we consider three amazing chapters into an hour and a half and um, it was good though it was good you know everybody who interviewed superb Howard who's who I've just been talking to at the bar now who's you know as, as unassuming and as as humble as ever comes across great and you know we, like I say we just wanted to do justice to those guys and and hopefully we've managed to do that. And there were 500 people come to see that the film tonight that must be ter terrific. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, we didn't even know whether to book one screen or whether to book five screens, and um, it sold out like way weeks before the premiere. I mean, we probably could have sold this place out every night of the week, um, and that just shows, you know, that this this team, you know, it might be 25 years, but it's still a, a, a Leeds fans have a lot of affection for that period of time, um, and you know, hopefully these guys will see the film tonight. The fans will will think we've done the story justice, and the players hopefully we've told their story well. Do you remember much about that time as a youngster? Yeah, I was a youngster, so so in '92 I was like 12, um, and that were the years that that you know make you a Leeds United fan. That you know, my dad always used to talk about Billy Bremner, Johnny Giles, Peter Lorimer. When I have kids, I'll talk about Gordon Strachan, Gary McAllister, Vinnie Jones. So um, yeah, the the that was the moment when you know a lot of us fell in love with Leeds United because it was a it was a great team and and you know when you when you're sort of 10 or 11 you're probably deciding who you're going to support and luckily at the time Leeds had a, had a good team and I'm from Leeds so all matched up. It was a great side, what do you make of the, the Leeds team of today under Gary Monk? Oh, I think that Gary Monk's done a fantastic job I think is you know of course we're all gutted at the moment especially after Saturday's result um, but you know we shouldn't forget that for the first time this year and it's not about um, our Leeds, Leeds fans should be happy we're finishing seventh if that's where we finish it was just nice to enjoy football again and not be talking about as much about the off-field stuff and to have a team that we were bothered about and players that we started to identify with a little bit. It feels like since Simon Grayson left, we haven't really had that. So no matter what happens over the next couple of weeks, Gary's done a fantastic job and the players have made us likely United again. <laughs>